The MTA is scrambling to adjust the Long Island Railroad schedule just days after the first major overhaul in decades. The changes were meant to accommodate service to the new Grand Central Madison station, but it has led to chaotic scenes like this. Social media videos showing overcrowding on some trains and on the platforms you can see there. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller has more from Penn Station. We saw a lot of late trains this morning, 5, 10, 15 minutes late at rush hour. A lot of that has to do with these brand new schedules, but the conditions this morning certainly a lot better than what we saw earlier this week. Riders forced to commute home in the bathroom on this standing room only train out of Penn Station. Then at Jamaica, dangerous crowds on the platform. What's the crowding been like this week? Terrible, terrible, terrible. It was less busy this Friday morning, a day when many office workers can work from home post pandemic. But we still saw commuters making mad dashes to their connecting trains. Before I was getting up and getting on a 603, and now I'm on the 554, and I'm getting in late, and I'm getting in later to work. Not everyone is upset. I work right near Grand Central. So, what do you think of this new service? Uh, so far, so good. But tell that to Ron Carter. His direct commute from Stony Brook to East New York now requires a connection, adding 45 minutes to his daily commute. I guess uh, catering for the elite, I guess, in Manhattan, right? With the Grand Central, they got a lot for what goes on and uh, be accountable for all the money they spent for uh, the new terminal they opened up, which is impacting us all in a negative way. The MTA's interim president, Catherine Rinaldi, on the defensive. I do think it was fully baked. I do think that, you know, because it is so new, there was always going to be a certain amount of learning, not just from our customers, but from us too. That learning means some busy routes out of Penn are getting additional cars added back. But don't expect any major schedule changes anytime soon. That's going to require a little bit more time to see how customers gravitate to the new service, you know, how these schedules, you know, kind of work and don't work for our customers. Reevaluate their trains going to Penn Station. It's worse than it was before, and it wasn't that great to begin with. The MTA maintains these headaches should only be temporary, but we will wait and see.